All right, you ready for this? Yes, let's go. Everybody wants to know. Everybody wants to know, what does Ray say? What does Ray say? <laughs> Ray says to be ready for this weekend. We mm -hmm. have a significant winter storm system that is going to be moving into our area. It's going to bring parts of the area snow, some of that snow very heavy, and it's going to bring other parts some freezing rain. And that causes its own set of issues. It doesn't give you the big accumulations, but it has impacts and that is the important thing about winter storms is the impact. Remember yesterday morning we had that light glaze of ice. It had an impact and we're going to see a storm system that has greater impacts than that moving in this weekend. Now the storm system moving through right now does not have big impacts, but it may slow you down a little bit. We're in the midst of a little break in Pittsburgh right now, but you can see there's a lot more snow back in Ohio that's trucking our way. So we are going to get more snow showers as we go through the night, and you can see that little break in Pittsburgh right now. Instead of your snow shower around Uniontown, and then the next batch coming right into Steubenville, right towards Beaver. So we're watching that. Now we have some winter weather advisories. If you have the KDKA weather app, you already knew this. It popped up on your phone, and these are in effect until Sunday at 1 a.m. They go into effect Saturday morning, stay in effect until Sunday afternoon, and that's for the winter storm this weekend. So we're going to talk about that here in a second, but up in the ridges, we have a winter weather advisory that's in play right now and in effect until tomorrow morning, and that's with the system that's coming through right now, as it could leave for some slick travel if you're crossing over the Mason-Dixon line. So keep that in mind if you're heading south. Now these snow showers, they're going to continue to move out of here as we go towards 8 p.m. Still snow showers around, especially south, but you'll notice that rain trying to lift up here. So we'll see a few raindrops trying to mix in towards Pittsburgh that keeps the accumulations down a little bit. But by midnight, most of this snow's out of here. We could have a flurry left over in the morning and your Friday is a quiet day. We're not going to see much happening for Friday. If you have Friday night plans, those should go off without a hitch. The snow we're getting tonight isn't going to really amount to too much or cause too many headaches tomorrow around an inch or so in Pittsburgh, more towards the or so. And then you get the one to two inches as you get up into the ridges. Now that system moves out. We catch our break. The next system moves in, and this is the headline maker. Right now, it's looking like it's going to track a little further to the south, and you'll notice what that does with the snow totals. It keeps the heavier snows right around Pittsburgh. South of Pittsburgh, you get ice, you get rain. North of Pittsburgh, you get the heavier snow. That's the way it's looking right now. The storm system moves out. 9 a.m. Sunday, some leftover snow, but temperatures are dropping. And any snow left over here will be more light and fluffy compared to the cement consistency snow, the wet cement consistency snow that we're going to see Saturday into Saturday night. So those snow showers linger. So what we know about this storm, we know it's coming in Saturday afternoon. It's going to wrap up Sunday. Storm track cuts right through Pittsburgh. This means areas nearby are going to see heavy snow. Areas nearby are going to see rain. Areas nearby are going to see ice. And 30 miles is the big difference between rain and incredible amounts of snow. So that's what we know. There's still a little variability that could happen with the track, but early estimates right now say Pittsburgh points north, four to eight inches is not out of the question. South, we're going to see lower numbers. However, different impacts. There could be some ice here. Keep that in mind. Big numbers don't necessarily mean uh, aren't the most important thing with a winter storm system. Then up to the north, especially as you get uh, city of Butler up past I-80, that's where we could see some of the, the heavier amounts of snow. So it's going to be nearby in our region. Tonight is not that system. We get through this snow, a little rain trying to mix in in a few cases, especially down to the south, 30 degrees for that overnight low. Into tomorrow, 35, mostly cloudy skies. And after that early snow, we're looking at a very quiet day. And you deserve it considering what's coming for the weekend. And that's that winter storm system. This is going to be a Saturday afternoon into early Sunday event. The coldest air of the season will be arriving on Sunday, so that's an early high at 22. Expect those temperatures to drop through the day. With the winds, the wind chills are going to likely be below zero. That'll be the case into Monday, too. Next week, temperatures come up and we see more rain and snow. This is a very active pattern we have, and that does not look to change.